Ubuntu Mate 20.04, a Linux distro for regular people. Ubuntu Mate is a lightweight Linux distro that works very well on older computers as well as newer computers. Version 20.04 is a long-term distro supported until April 2023. Ubuntu Mate is a very impressive Linux distribution that is easy to use, light on computer resources, and has most of the software installed that you need right out of the box. If you have an older computer and Windows seems to be getting slower, Ubuntu Mate can revive your PC, making it more productive, uh, responsive, and faster. Ubuntu Mate is based on Ubuntu with Mate as the desktop environment. Also, to be technically correct, Mate is pronounced Mate, not Mate, with an international flair. Let's take a look at Ubuntu Mate. After the install of Ubuntu Mate, you'll get this screen which has the welcome window, and that's a good place to start. Uh, but we're going to be crazy and save this for later. So let's close that and look at the desktop first. You notice that there are two panels, caught them, one, two. Uh, the bottom panel has access to the trash, ways to switch workspaces, and this is to restore hidden windows. The top panel has access to be able to shut the system down, suspend, log out, to system settings, help, about the computer, time and date, volume controls, and access to sound settings. And uh, for battery, how much power is in the battery. And the network connection. This would be any notifications such as updates. Over on the other side, there's an icon for the browser, and it is Firefox, which is the default browser. <clears throat> and the menu. We have uh, all the software divided out into categories, as well as favorites and all. <clears throat> A listing of all the software that's included with Ubuntu Mate, and there's a lot of software to get you up working right away. Accessories, administration, education, empty right now, graphics, internet, office, and included in office is the Libre Office Suite, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Office. Preferences, different setting that you can get into and make changes. Sound video, music player and a video player, system tools, universal access, and this is access to the setting windows. The control center is where many of the settings are located. I'll just go through some of the highlights. Um, wait a minute. My shirt changed color. Huh. Uh, anyway, so we have administration, hardware, internet network, look and appearance. Uh, let's look at appearance. This is where you can change the theme for the look of Ubuntu Mate. I like Mate Dark. That's a nice look. But let's change it back. Okay, that's appearance. Now let's look at Mate Tweak. This is where Mate really shines. You have the 
desktop where you can change what appears on the desktop panel and this is why I say it shines in panel you can change the look of the desktop itself make it look a little more like Mac or Windows uh, the default is familiar but uh, for instance Redmond uh, Redmond is a city where Microsoft is located at in Washington State thus that will change the look to be a little more like Windows move the panels together on the bottom and the menu a little more of a Windows appearance let's change that back to familiar so that's a nice feature on Ubuntu Mate let's uh, take a look at the panels again I wanted to show you one more thing on here uh, if you right click on the panel look at these things that you can use to change some of the settings but if you click on properties you can change the location of the panel <clears throat> either on the top bottom left right you can auto hide change the size of the panel and the same thing for the bottom panel so you can put them where you want them and uh, you can even put them together in one location. Let's take a look at the software boutique, which is located in Menu, Administration. And this gives you access to software programs that the Ubuntu Mate people have put together that uh, are the most popular. That my shirt changed again. Yeah. And, uh, the software is divided out by category and once you find some software that you'd like to install you can hit the install button go to bulk queue and start the install process from there I always suggest going to more software and installing software which gives you access to Ubuntu's software repository which includes thousands upon thousands of programs uh, giving you access to more software than the software boutique offers Get install there synaptic program manager I would suggest installing that too it gives you access to even more software so install go to the ball queue apply changes it will ask you for your password and start the install process and once they've been installed the shortcuts for software to Ubuntu repository and the synaptic program manager will appear in the menu so as promised we'll go through the welcome screen my shirt changed colors again So, in the welcome screen comes up when you first install Ubuntu Mate. And it's a, like I mentioned before, it's a great place to start. We we'll go with the introduction. And I'll tell you about Ubuntu Mate, give you lots of information about it. Features. Nice place to peruse through to see what you can actually do with Ubuntu Mate. <clears throat> Getting started. Yeah. Updates, extras, drivers, language, optional tasks. System specifications, very interesting. Tell you about your computer. Community, 
a great place to get some information about Ubuntu Mate. Chat room, you need to hit this first. But then if you have any questions or you just want to talk to uh, other users, it's a good place to look at. Software, and this takes you to the software boutique, which we talked about earlier. Getting involved, and talks about, oh, being able to even contribute to the development of Ubuntu Mate. Shop. You can actually buy some products with Ubuntu Mate logos and such on them. Donate. And I would really uh, recommend donating what, well, whatever you can, even a few, if it's a few dollars to the Ubuntu Mate project to keep a great operating system moving forward. Browser selection where you can install other browsers besides Firefox or if you want to uninstall Firefox and just have some different browsers on your system you can do that in this window. Color selection just to be able to change the colors of the folders and and uh, have some a different look to your system and where you can change themes too. Desktop layout and we looked at this before in panels but this will have some small icons where you can see or kind of see what the layout will look like when you select these. And it shows you that we are in the default familiar right now. <clears throat> so that's the welcome screen. Uh, if you don't want this to pop up every time you log on, you can uncheck that. Close it. Um, and it is in the menu too. Uh, easy way to find it is if you go to all, just scroll down, and there it is. Ubuntu Mate is considered a very light operating system, not using very many computer resources. Uh, if you look at the screen, you can see that right now 577 megabytes of memory is being used, and which is very light considering that Windows 10 uses anywhere from one gigabyte to two gigabytes of memory at any one time. So Ubuntu Mate is very light. You may be wondering where you can get a copy of Ubuntu Mate. This is the website. I'll put a link for the address in the description below. It's the main window. About. Features. Blog. Community. And download. If you hit this, you'll get an ISO copy of Ubuntu Mate. And uh, I did a video recently about how to install Ubuntu distros on a PC. So I'll put a link for that in the description below too. That was the introduction and preview of Ubuntu Mate 20.04, a Linux distro for regular people. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave any comments and subscribe below. We'll see you next time and take care.